Let's do number 14. This is a work problem. It uses the fact that work is the integral of the force. And if we're lifting something and measuring stuff in pounds, the force is just to the weight. So we've got this situation. We've got the bottom of a well, the top of a well, this distance is 20 feet, and we're moving from zero to 20. That's go those are going then to be our limits of integration. Um, and as I say, the force is really just the weight. So we want to know the weight when the bucket is y feet above the ground. And let's see what we have. We've got a bucket. And that is a constant weight, four pounds. And we've got a rope. So the length of the rope is 20 minus y. And the rope weighs 0 0.05 pounds per foot. So the weight of the rope is the weight per foot times the number of feet. And then we've got water as well. And the water is leaking out at a constant rate. So how much water is there? Well, there was initially two gallons and it's leaking out at a constant rate. So this is linear. And by the time it reaches the top of the well, that is to say, when y equals 20, there's one gallon of water remaining. So if we solve this, What am I doing? Y is 20. This is K, our unknown. K equals 1 20th. So this is measured in gallons. Um, the amount of gallons left when the bucket's here at Y 
is two minus one twentieth times y. We don't need gallons, we need pounds. If two gallons is 16 pounds, then one gallon is six, is eight pounds. So um, the number of gallons times eight ought to be right. And therefore, the total weight should be four plus point zero five. 20 minus y plus 8 times 2 minus 120th y. And okay, if this were a test, I'd have a calculator calculator convenient, 0 0.05 times 20. Let me, this is what I made it on my calculator. So if this is all right, we can go, I know I'm above the top of my screen green, but we'll copy it up here and then 21y minus 0.45 over 2y squared evaluated from zero to 20. When we plug zero in here, we're just going to get zero. When we plug in 20, we get 330 foot pounds.